What's going on guys? Stefan, SNE's Garage. Today we're going to be here working on our 2007 Toyota Camry with the 2.4 liter 2AZFE engine. And uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you see that I preach, preach, and preach some more about the 5,000 mile oil, oil change. Uh, this vehicle just hit 5,000 miles on its oil. I'm just going to show you. The oil change is due at 175, 141, that would be the 5,000 mile mark. And right now we're at 175, 119, and the maintenance required light is actually on. So it is, for all intents and purposes, due for an oil change. Now if we pull a dipstick on this thing, show you what the oil looks like at 5,000 miles. It's still golden brown. So we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of an experiment here. We're going to see how far we can push this engine on uh, Castrol GTX high mileage 520. It's not synthetic. It's just you know a synthetic blend uh, Walmart oil. And uh, we're going to do this safely and the correct way. So we're going to be sending a sample of this oil that we drain out of this engine to Blackstone Laboratories. And what they're going to do is they're basically going to test it for wear metals, flash point, and various other things and they're going to check how much additive packet is still left in the oil doing its job. Um, so we're going to do the baseline of 5,000 miles and I'm going to send them you know the sample. I'm going to show you how to collect the sample um, and we're going to see you know what they say back and follow their recommendations and keep going until we get to a point where uh, you know we can see how far we can stretch it on this oil. Now for this experiment we are going to be using like I said before the same oil which is Castrol GTX high mileage and we're going to be using Denso oil filters. Uh, Denso is the original equipment manufacturer for the oil filter that comes with this car from the factory um, and that is what I like to run and that's what I'm going to keep running so throughout this whole process we're going to be using the same oil, the same filter, there's not going to be any different variables thrown in the mix. It's going to be you know apples to apples. Now do keep in mind I do drive this vehicle in the quote unquote ideal driving conditions. Um, I run this thing 180 miles a day, 160 miles a day give or take up and down the highway at you know 75, 80 miles an hour so this engine lives at like 2500 to 3000 RPM um, and it is not really what I would say hard on the oil. Um, so if you are doing city driving and a lot of it or a lot of uh, you know start and stopping not letting the engine get real warm um, I wouldn't follow these results, but if you're the kind of person that runs up and down the highway, uh, you know, we'll see what we got. All right, now before you collect your sample, you're going to want to make sure that your engine is hot. You want to get this thing up to operating temperature. That way, if there's any moisture or any fuel in the oil uh, from the previous startup, it burns it away. You don't want to get any false results because you didn't, you know, let the car get nice and hot. So we're going to go ahead... We're going to open our container here. This goes to Blackstone Laboratories. And we're going to pull this little clear container out. And this is what you're going to collect your oil in. So the way that Blackstone uh, basically tells you to do this is crack the drain plug off, let it drain for a couple seconds, and then go ahead and get your sample. You don't want to get the first oil that comes out, and you don't want to get the last bit of oil that comes out. You want a nice catch in the middle of the drain. Um, so we're going to get our drain pan, we're going to set it up under the car, we're going to get our 14 millimeter wrench. Um, I'm going to bring you under there, we're going to crack it loose, let it drain for a second, and we're going to collect our sample. Alright guys, so here we are under the car, here's our oil pan here. I already ran ahead and cracked that drain plug loose, and I went ahead and took the cap off of our uh, specimen collector. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this drain plug off the rest of the way, and like I said, we're going to let it drain for a couple of seconds. Right. Okay, there it is. It's draining. So like I said, I'm going to give it a couple of seconds. And now I'm going to go ahead and collect my specimen. And just like that, we have our, uh, our specimen. And we can go ahead and finish up our oil change. Alright guys, so now that you've collected your specimen, uh, the car's still out there draining. I'm going to let it keep draining. We're going to clean this up, you know, we're going to wipe it off real nice, get all the oil off of it, make sure that lid is nice and tight, and we're going to open up this black container that you saw me pull the little clear bottle out of, and when you open this up, there's a nice little thing 
with the directions. Basically, it tells you what to do. Drive fly for 15 miles before sampling. It's okay if you can't, just make a note. So like I said, make sure that you get the engine nice and hot. It's a good idea. They're gonna tell you basically to, to sample the middle of the drain, so don't get the first and don't get the last. And uh, it just you'll see when you get it. It's for the testing, sampling, and everything. There's another piece of paper here that basically you put all of your information on, uh, how you would like to pay, and basically information on the vehicle you're getting it out of. Um, and then you have this little plastic baggie here. So what they want you to do is you put this little plastic baggie, you open it up, you put your oil sample in the baggie, close it, and then you wrap this with the pig mat that they give you, this guy here. And then we go ahead and we stick it in our, our jar along with the paperwork that you filled out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out now. All right guys, I got my sample all bottled up. Now all you're gonna go ahead and do is slip it in the prepaid label that they give you with a little bag. Seal the lid, like so. You pull the tape off, seal it, and you drop it right in your, uh, right in your mailbox. So uh, as soon as I get these results, I'm gonna finish up this video and uh, we'll see what they have to say. Hopefully we, uh, we can see if we can extend the drain intervals a little bit. All right guys, we're back with you here. It took about two weeks for this report to get done. Uh, unfortunately, I guess they were a little backed up. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and take a snapshot of this PDF, insert it in the video, and let you guys take a look at it. Um, more or less, I'm gonna read it to you real quick. Stefan, your Camry is off to a great start in this oil analysis. We gauge internal wear by comparing wear metals to universal averages for the 2AZ FE, which are based on a 5,900 mile oil change interval. Your oil was ran just a bit shy of the average interval, yet wear metals are far lower than we'd normally inspect. That means your engine is wearing exceptionally well. We didn't find any contaminants in this 520 grade oil and a 3.7 TBN reading means that there was plenty of active additive left in the oil. All signs point to a longer oil run being just fine, so try 7,000 miles. So more or less what they're saying is this semi-synthetic uh, Castrol blend high mileage that I'm running um, is actually protecting this engine very well. Um, if you look at the wear metals, you can pause it and take a look. They are all lower than the industry standard, which means the inside of my engine is actually wearing very well. Um, and the oil does have plenty of life left. So in this case, I'm going to veer off of my 5,000 mile oil change for the sake of trying to see how far I can safely go. And uh, we're gonna drain it next time at 7,000 miles. We're gonna collect another sample and we're gonna do the same thing. Um, since I started this video, I've already driven about 2,000 miles. Uh, like I said, I do about 160, 180 miles a day, depending. Um, so within the next month, month and a half, we'll be ready to drain it at 7,000 miles. And uh, we'll see what Blackstone has to say. Uh, so please, like, share, subscribe if you want to keep up with this project. Where we're really going to see how far you can safely run uh, basically regular oil in your car without causing issues, and that's the whole reason I'm kind of doing this, because I want to see how far we can push it. Uh, so please, like I said, like, share, subscribe. See you on the next one.